You know that there's a ton of great things to do in and around Nice, right? So let us help you pick. This time, come to stunning Villefranche-sur-Mer with us and discover five unique facts and features. Find out what the Rolling Stones, the US Navy, some of the wealthiest people in the world and the tiny coastal town have in common. Plus, get a little tan at the beach and some exercise on your scenic walk back to Nice. Anya and I are going to take the train from Nice to Villefranche. We buy a one-way ticket because we'll get back on foot. Off we go! The station, completed in 1867, was built in Louis XIII style, inspired by the public buildings of the city of Paris at the time. It only takes a few minutes to get to Villefranche-sur-Mer and just a little longer for us to get back later on. When you hop off the train at the cute old station, you're right above the sea. Below the railway tracks stretches one of the most beautiful bays on the French Riviera. Here, the mountains plunge right into the sea, forming one of the deepest natural harbors in the Mediterranean. Take your time and enjoy the beach. When you spend your vacation or even just a few days in Nice, a trip to Villefranche should definitely be on your to-do list. A quick train ride and you're in heaven. That's what the Rolling Stones must have thought as well when they arrived on the Côte d'Azur a good 50 years ago. In 1971 they went into tags exile in Villefranche-sur-Mer. Keith Richards rented the Villa Nelcote in the basement of the Belle Epoque Villa, they recorded parts of their significant album Exile on Main Street. A young French photographer, Dominique Tarlet, captured these rare images at the time. Anya and I slowly start our walk back to Nice. But first, there's more to discover on the way. The four or five story houses in red, yellow and ochre colors that line the quay all feature café and restaurant terraces. La Mer Germaine is the most famous one of them, opened in 1938 by Germaine and her husband. Germaine was called Mum by the numerous US Marine soldiers that went ashore in Villefranche, because for many years until 1967, the village was the home port of the US Navy's 6th Fleet. At times, there were hundreds of American families living here. We asked at the tourist office if Americans still play a big role in Villefranche's everyday life. Oui, bien sûr. Aujourd'hui, on a toujours une très forte présence des Américains ici à Villefranche. Enfin, pendant la présence de la base de la marine américaine ici, beaucoup se sont mariés avec des villes franchoises donc il y a des familles qui se sont formées et beaucoup de visiteurs viennent des États-Unis aussi depuis longtemps par rapport à cette histoire qu'on a avec avec ce pays. Since 2009, 50 years after Mère Germaine's passing, there's even a little street named after her. When you find it, walk through the archway and discover the so-called rue obscure. Stop for a moment and take in the covered street, dating from the 14th century. Back then it was used by military personnel, while the old cellars opening onto the street served mainly as shelters for donkeys and goats. So now that we've discovered some of Villefranche's history and won't be surprised to hear a lot of English when strolling through the old town, let's head for the Sentier du Littoral, the coastal path that'll take us back to Nice. And just then... We meet an American family who shows us some of the famous villas in the bay, which, by the way, is home to several of the most expensive properties in the world. There's Villa Leopolda with its huge park, the Rolling Stones' Villa Nelcote, 
the beautiful Villa Efrussi de Rothschild, which is open for tourists, and the late Paul Allen's villa, co-founder of Microsoft, to name a few. And now that the sun's almost starting to set, Anya and I have reached the coastal path. We start by rounding the citadel, and then we'll stick close to the sea for most of the five kilometers back to Nice. Anya needs a little pause technique, as the French say. While soaking up the beautiful sea view for a minute, we mentally prepare for a brutal climb. Phew, that was tough! But the views get more and more amazing, and suddenly we can see Nice with its port, the castle hill, and the Baie des Anges, the angel's bay that stretches behind the hill. The closer we get to the city, the more crowded the coastline gets. It was a hot September day when we shot this film, and summertime in the French Riviera means the evening hours are used to do some sports, take a dip or meet up with friends. And here we are at the port in Nice. We hope you enjoyed our idea for a day trip to Villefranche and back. If you want to see more of the French Riviera, please check out our other videos. See you!